Well, hello there, everybody. Uh, nostalgic Reviews, that's what we're doing. What's going on? My name's Nas, you're watching Nostalgic. I'm reviewing things. <laughs> this was sent to us by our good old friend Cameron from Monkey Shine Lab. Uh, check him out on YouTube, but uh, my man's had this for a while. He got this a while ago. I I think he made a review of it. I don't remember. But uh, he sent it to me to do a review on. So thank you, man. Hey, if anyone sends me anything to review, I'll freaking review it. I'll make a video on it. So, And I'll definitely shout you out. If you want to do that, let me know. Uh, so that kind of looks impressive to me. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, okay, so first of all, uh, first first thoughts. I'm not the biggest fan of Jada. Um, with that said, I have a lot of stuff by Jada and Majorette. This is their little collaboration here. This is kind of like mini GT and Kaido house, only on a budget. <laughs> so this is Majorette and Jada. They came together. They basically make the same cars. And um, so yeah, so this is the Pink Slips uh, series right there. Oops, it came out. Hey, hey, we're not doing it yet. Come back in there. You're not ready yet, buddy. So <laughs> here's the box. Um, I do have Jada, I think, 134 scale, mostly uh, Fast and the Furious. Um, you guys know that's what I collect mostly. So I have various scales of cars, but they're mostly Fast and the Furious, if I vary. My main focus is 164 scale. So with that said, this is roughly 164 scale, kind of like Hot Wheels. It's it's 164, but not really. <laughs> kind of like Kaido House. It's in the realm of 164, but not really. They're a little bigger, a little smaller, not really 164, but they look good with 164. Ah, <sighs> so anyway, let's open this. Bugatti Chiron Pur Sport. Pure sport? Pur sport. I'll, I'll go with pur. It's like a kitty. I like it. Alright, I like the, how we opened it the first time because that looks pretty badass. So, uh, Cameron uh, made a, either a review of this or something else and he was kind of uh, giving it some good thoughts. And from the first look right here, I agree with him. This, this looks cool, man. I think pink slips are under five bucks. They're like four dollars, right? Like on average. I don't know. I didn't buy this. <laughs> this is my first pink slips casting. So let's get rid of that box. So uh, here we go. Uh, yeah. What did I say this was? Bugatti Chiron Pur Sport. So um, all right. Let's get this. Uh, mystery stain off of there there we go cameron thanks for mystery stain uh, <laughs> it says bugatti right here on the wing if you can't tell uh then we have the tail lights um okay i'm already starting to kind of notice some weirdness here with like proportions um we already covered the scale but it's sitting way up higher than it needs to be. Like these wheels don't look right. It looks like they're too big, possibly. Or they're just not, the stance is kind of wrong. Oh, there is a little bit of suspension. So if we push it all the way down, it kind of looks okay. Maybe, I don't know. Um, okay, so first of all, the front looks badass. That looks cool. I like the 16 on there. It, they actually kind of got the lines right. It looks cool. Another plus is side mirrors. Those look awesome. I like the little crevasse right there. The back looks funky a little bit. Okay, hold on a sec. I have a phone call. <laughs> okay, so uh, phone call aside. Uh, let's get back to reviewing this uh, bad boy here. So anyway, uh, this thing, you know, here's what I'm going to say. Um, I mean, check this out. The freaking trunk opens. 
I mean, it's like a weird little gap in there. But it opens. That's cool. The doors kind of just dangle open. <laughs> I mean, but they open. That one's a little rough. There you go, they open. They stay open. All this stuff's open. Check it out. Look at all that opening. Goodness. So that's cool, you know? Like, that's cool. Um, and the car itself looks pretty cool. And I like that, like, the suspension works. And uh, Let me see. Let's, uh, let's use this uh, Fast and the Furious VHS here to demonstrate. There we go. So, like, see, like, okay, stay, the door won't stay closed. Something to note. So there you go. It looks pretty cool, pushed down like that with the suspension down. I would say, what do you need the suspension for? Make the car look better just sitting there like this. Maybe even get it lower, maybe give it a little smaller wheels or something. I don't know. Uh, I mean, it does look cool this way push down then like when it's up like this it's kind of weird it does roll very nicely you know uh, yeah that door won't stay shut <laughs> so uh yeah with all that being said we have uh dicky splilzug this was made in germany <laughs> bugatti chiron per sport uh, one's, oh, this is 165 scale, guys. Look at that. I didn't even know. So this is even, this isn't even 164 scale. At least they're sticking to a scale. 165? Like, what, what's the point of that one little point? I don't get it. Anyway, so this is 165 scale. <laughs> and, but still, the proportions are kind of weird to me. It, it looks bulby, like bulbous. I don't know. Like Quasimodo-y. <laughs> but, okay. Again, with all that being said, rubber tires, nice wheels. Uh, it's all metal. Stuff opens. The color's pretty nice. It, it is very nice. I like it. And for the price point, under $5. Uh, this is cool. Um, let me underline this. This is a toy. This is a toy for kids. That's what this pink slips majorette is. Please, I hope, please don't get offended when I say this. You know, if you're like a huge fan of majorette and you collect them. Hot Wheels are for kids as well. I have a bunch of Hot Wheels. You know what I mean? But if you're a diecast collector, I feel like, I don't know. If you're going to put this on display, would you really want this? You know, uh, the way the paint is, the way the scale is. It is cool. Like, look at it. I loved it. I, I like this. This looks good. But this is a toy. This is a very awesome high-end toy for a kid to start collecting with. Does that make sense? Please don't get offended. A lot of people get a little bit butt hurt when I say things like this. But there's so many like adult like collecting things. Hold on a second. Let me show you something. Uh, let's see. Okay. This is one of my customs, right? This is a powder coated. Uh, what is this? This is a 2016 Bugatti Chiron. Okay. So also a Chiron. Okay. This is, you know, this is Hot Wheels. It's a premium, you know. Uh, I did do a wheel swap and everything. And this is a powder-coated custom. So that's that was my specialty for a bunch of years. So I did powder coat Hot Wheels. And this is one of them. So compared to this... I understand there's only one point off, one's 164, one's 165, but look at the dimensions, the way it's designed. Whoever designed the Hot Wheels did a way better job doing it. Like, this thing's all weird, man. Like, I don't know. And look how much bigger it is. Look how much, like, wider it is. It's just, I don't know, man. <laughs> sure, stuff opens. Like I said, perfect for a kid. Like, if you have a teeny bopper, you know, someone under 11, 
who's like all about cars and they want to collect them this is awesome because in their mind's eye this is cool like the wheels everything opens like it actually looks really cool this is awesome to start with and then like hot wheels which is also ma meant for kids but then again like the premiums are kind of like step up more for collectors and stuff and you know we're not even talking about um customs you know what i mean but i mean this is much you know this is a whole different you know story like this thing's pretty pretty dope i'm not making a commercial for my customs i don't sell them i don't make them anymore sadly i don't work for a powder coat company but i'm just saying <laughs> like try to compare these two they're both chiron's and uh, I would say that if you get like a Bugatti Chiron from another company, like, uh, I don't know, <sighs> Pop Race or uh, I don't know what's out there. Does um, Mini GT make Bugattis? They, they do actually, yeah. Like, if you would compare to those, like, you know, why would you even want to look at this? So again, toy, awesome. It looks awesome. I don't think this is something cool for like you know uh, an actual collector to have on display because really what are you collecting what are you displaying you're displaying a really cool looking toy sure nothing wrong with that again please don't take me the wrong way i'm i'm trying i hope i'm getting my point across that like even a hot wheels premium is to me looks better like the the windows sculpted better this is like bubbly you know what i mean <laughs> it's weird i don't get it like look at the the way the lights are in the back of the hot wheels it's so much nicer i don't know but yeah for like four bucks hell yeah man pink slips all the way bugatti chiron really cool it comes in a little collector box like, again, I really think this is basically a really cool way for a kid to start collecting. It gets them used to a collector box like this. It gets them used to, like, opening it and seeing, like, a really cool car with opening parts. It's a, it's a huge step. It's a bunch of steps above um, Hot Wheels uh, main lines. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's, that's, that's my point. And then Hot Wheels Premiums is another step up. And then you go to collector grade, and then you go to like 30, 50, 100 dollar freaking premium collector grade 164 scales that are freaking amazing. So like, you know, that's what I mean about collecting and quality and stuff like that. Beginner for kids, step up for kids and adults, and then after that you just go crazy. Okay, uh, let the hate mail roll in. Um, my name is Nas. Thank you for watching this, uh, you know, um, review, whatever it's called. Uh, cheers. I'm going to finish this whiskey, and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Peace. Mwah.